Hello, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Wine with Jimmy. And we do everything around the world of wine educationally to help you understand it and love it just a little drop more. So on this series, we are looking at what's called the WSET Level 3 SAT. Lots of acronyms there, but that's the Wine and Spirit Education Trust Level 3 systematic approach to tasting. So this is focusing on the practical side of the examination, of course, of which you need to assess a wine according to the level three SAT approach. So I am going to share with you my full tasting note on a readily available wine here in the UK. So you can go and select this wine and taste it at home at your leisure and match it, hopefully, match it category and descriptor by descriptor with mine. So it gives you better confidence and understanding when you go into the examination. Now, if you have any comments or questions or concerns, or you'd like to share what you found with this wine or even your score that you got, please pop that in the comment section below this video and make sure you click subscribe and like whilst you are there. And if you do want to get in contact any other way, you'll find social media at the bottom of every slide. So this is the Czechy Sainsbury's Taste of Difference. So the company Czechy make this for Sainsbury's, which is a multiple grocer, a supermarket here in the United Kingdom. And this is the Vernacchi de San Gimignano. So this is the Vinacchia grape variety. It's not actually a grape variety which is listed in the WSET Level 3, but I'm including this wine for the fact that it is a, a simple wine and it's something you must understand as a taster. It's from San Gimignano, which is very close to Siena in Tuscany, 2020 vintage, 12.5% alcohol, and it's only £8 from Sainsbury's here in the UK, tasted 2021. Now let's go through the tasting note so you can match yours with it. So first of all, there are two marks available for the appearance. So this is typically a pale lemon style, intensity pale color lemon. There are no marks available for clarity and other observations, so I have crossed them out as they are not deemed necessary for the level three. Now the nose is a full seven marks available. And I split that into two marks for nose intensity and development, and then five marks for aromas. Now, you'll actually see I've, there's three things highlighted here. That's because I've included simple here. But in fact, a, a mark for simple will come from the five marks on the next slide. So let's just go through that so you fully are aware. So the intensity of this wine is, for me, medium minus or medium. I, as an examiner, can put a range on two of my lines. You cannot. You must only put down one thing. So if you've put medium or medium minus, you will be correct. It is a youthful wine full of only primary characters. And this wine is simple in style. Why? So there are three marks actually there. So that means we actually now have four marks for any of these primary. Now, the simple concept, so what constitutes a simple wine, is really, um, it's, it's quite difficult to put my finger on it exactly, because it does vary examiner to examiner. There is a rough guideline. Let me tell you that rough guideline, because I think this will help you. Now, as a student, if you are struggling to list five descriptors, so that's five descriptors find, found normally in the primary for a simple wine. If you're really struggling, that's going to indicate to you that this is likely to be a simple wine. So I'd say around five or six. If you are struggling to, to write that amount, it's going to be simple. If there's a group of you, uh, so if you're in a tasting environment and you're with a, a number of your peers, it's likely that you're going to list more compounds because there's more people inputting. Uh, so if you are looking at a bigger group or an examiner like me, for example, I normally look for sort of eight or nine and less. So if I struggle as an examiner 
to list around eight or nine things, or if a group gets together and they struggle to list more than eight or nine things, then I would class that as simple as well. But you as an individual looking at five or six, and see here, as an examiner, I have listed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I put 12 things here. A lot of it is in fact, aroma association. So I would still consider this a simple wine style. I think most students on this wine would struggle to identify five or six clear uh, nose aroma compounds. So let me go through those. There's a sort of a slight sort of green white flower note. So that's elderflower or blossom, apple or pear, um, grapefruit, lemon or, or lime, any of those sort of citrus. It's very fresh, this wine, bit of wet stony flintiness to it, fennel or dill, and then that grass or green pepper, a little bit of a Sauvignon Blanc-esque note to it as well, a bit of that methoxy pyrazine coming through. No secondaries, no tertiaries on this wine style, okay? So there are actually four marks available here because remember we've already allocated three marks with a medium minus or medium intensity, a simple and youthful style. And that's the additional two marks just there. And on the palette, white wines have six marks available. You'll see I've actually highlighted seven because simple is here again. But this is a dry wine with very high acidity, medium alcohol, about 12 and a half percent, light to medium minus body. I've given you a range. You can only select one medium minus intensity and a medium finish. Uh, the wine is simple as well. Uh, so th that is actually seven marks now in total, and that will leave only two marks remaining for these. We've already allocated one of these three marks to simple, by the way. So we're down to two marks. And this is the same same categories, the same descriptors as the nose. So please pause this, mark it against yours and see what you've got. So any of those. And then we come on to the conclusions. I think this wine has good balance. There's nothing out of balance about of it. The intensity has clearly defined characteristics. So the intensity is fine. Um, it doesn't have to be pronounced to, to get the mark for intensity, but it has not got great length and it's not got any complexity. It's a simple wine. So this is a good wine, um, but I wouldn't age it. It doesn't seem to have the texture or the fruit concentration. So this is drink now, not suitable for further aging. And your total mark is out of 20. So if you've got 11, it's a pass. 13 is a merit and 17 minimum is a distinction. Please do share those if you want in the comments section. It'd be great to hear from you on that Fenaki. A really nice and pleasing wine, uh, but a simple in style. Uh, if you do have any other questions, please do pop them in the comments section or get in touch via social media. And if you do find yourself in London, in the United Kingdom, come and see me at one of my establishments for a class, a glass or a bottle. I've been Jimmy Smith. Ciao for now.